What? No yeah. way. What? Oh, Very oh my god. Very high class specimen here. Holy. We got a, we got a, couple, we got a couple of sprays here, brother. Ooh. We're talking thousands of dollars right there. <laughs> so, James, what'd you do, man? World class specimens are shaping up there, guys. Craig Cardwell, uh, owner of the Blue Star Claims. Me and my wife Tracy have 14 load claims at 13,800 feet, all the way up to 14, and we're up mining aquamarines. There is no room for failure at all. This is our livelihood. This is what puts food on our table. We could either go bust or we could really hit it big. Me and Tracy will continue working side by side, pushing these guys and making sure we can get every bit of aquamarine production that we can get to where we can run with some of the global competitors. No patch oh blue God. right there. We're just ready to put everything we have in and go big. Expectations are, are high. So we're at base camp, 11,000 feet, and uh, once we get this thing set here, we're, we're able to come up and down. This is kind of the home away from home. But uh, yeah, base camp's getting uh, to where it's taking shape, and we'll get these canvases on the tent poles. And So yeah, this is the first time we've set up a tent this big, so yeah, we're probably already gonna be at each other's throats by the time we get this canvas on there. But uh, yeah, we're excited about it, and you know, something that the kids can get involved with. We'll put this bad boy up and see if we can not strangle each other in the meantime. So, yeah, it's going to be a nice place. Weather's beautiful, except for the mosquitoes. We're just constantly swatting ourselves, you know, trying to keep the mosquitoes off. So we kind of took a uh, long-term approach this year. We invested in a nice canvas tent, a little 13 by 13, and uh, something a little more durable that's going to last us several years. He pulls out his power tool out of his little handyman bag. He's always trying to fix everything. I think I got everything pretty much uh, drilled in pretty good. What do you think, Emma? Yep, I would say so. Remains to be seen? <laughs> yeah. We got all the guys on four corners, just in time. We got a little thunder, so uh, we're really excited. Now we got our, our, our base tent up, and things can kind of get comfortable here now. We're excited. It came with a parking garage in there too. Yeah, it did. <laughs> uh, the guys have already hand dug some holes. They're already hitting some pockets, so that's great news. Get some good scrapes in, we can get going. 200,000 carats is what we're going for this year, but I think that we're going to surpass the 100,000 carats that we got last year for sure. You know, quarter of the season, and we are right on par with what I thought would be a great season. Tracy and I have been really pushing the guys hard on the, on the ridge, and I think right now we're right at about 30,000 to 35,000 carats of total production. With time that we've got left available, if this trend keeps up, I think we're actually going to break expectations. I don't want to jinx it, but uh, you know, Tracy's got her boot on all of our necks and she's working us pretty hard, so we're going to get as much blue as we can. Uh, Tracy's gonna go inspect some pockets. I'm gonna be right on her tail and see if we can pick up where we left off. Let's go get it, babe. Yeah, let's go. What's up, dog? What's up, big rod? Excited. Right, so we're gonna get out of some pockets here. What are you looking at, J-Rock? We've got a little pocket going directly below you on this little iron standing, right below you, right there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's one right here. I can see let's start the there. One there, and then we got one more for you right here. I'm positive there's gonna be some aquas right there. 
It's on. Yeah, baby. <laughs> so I'm really into some good stuff right here. This is nice. It's a really nice piece of barrel. Um, oh man, that's a great sign. Isn't that beautiful? It's got smoky on the back side of it, great pegmatite. Okay, so the blue barrel, it's everything that, that composes of the aquamarine, but it just hadn't crystallized yet. It's just an opaque barrel mineral at that point. It's a good sign for right now. We found that, you know, these little iron looking pockets over the years, that, that's always a good indicator that there's some aqua there. I say it's a good indicator. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. But about 75% of the time, if we found that iron stain knot, there's usually some blue to come. So this, this is looking good. Lots of good graphic. Okay. So right here is very Jimmy Terminated Crystal right here. That's what you're looking for. Uh, if I put water, it's going to fall out. Get your bench ready below it. Did I get it? Yeah, I think I got it. It's a little piece, but... Nice, Jimmy. Nice blue color. Yeah. Here's another one. It's so pretty. And another. Yay! I have my first aqua of the season. Terminated. This one's really Jimmy right here. It's beautiful. Lots of little pieces. Look at there. Ooh, nice. Baby. Look at that. Starting to bleed out. See that? Find uh -huh. it. It's about a 10 carat. Look at the blue on that, baby. <sighs> Get that out. Okay. Hot, look at there. Another one too. It's Jimmy too. Now it's starting to heal on us. Uh, is it? Oh, wait. That's showing some good signs. Okay, so we've barely scratched the surface here. It's given us a bunch of little bitty small pieces, but it's looking really, really good. And so if there's small pieces, there's gonna be bigger pieces with it. Grab a handful of this. You don't want to miss anything out of there. Yeah, these little bits right here, those little bits right there too. And we're just gonna get all that out. The little cavity is right back in here. Take that top off right there. Let's see if we can stick up. Oh, just look at that. Oh. Triple points. Oh. Look at that. That is so I just cute. tapped that and that came out. How cool is that one? Something just hit my head. That is a cool, smoky matrix piece right yeah, there. Yeah, it is. That is so cool. That is so cute. Triple terminated. Yeah. Oh, look at that. There we Watch go. That's a cool piece. Look at that, babe. Good job. It's a $300 bill right there. Little matrix piece. You've got your aqua, your smoky, feldspar. I just pulled out this out there. Blue on that, honey. Now we're starting to get into well-formed, world-class crystals. Look at that, baby. Yes. Coming through with some water. Just washing out. Oh, I see them all back in here. Oh. Oh. Nice pocket. We've got a pocket opened, so um, bleeding blue. Yep, bleeding blue. The little piece right there for it falls away. So the further up we get, the more blue that's going to come out, and hopefully they'll get bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh, oh, sorry, Danny. I see. Wait. Oh, 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 oh. I'll teach you to grab them aquas. <laughs> my hand. Sorry. Okay. Look, oh my gosh. So now we're moving up in from the one to five carat into the 15 to 20 carat range here. Uh, this pocket's starting to pop. Tracy's on fire. That's a nice little ledge we got right there. Nice. Yeah, that's Look cool. at that one, see it? How cool is that? So every time we shoot a little bit of water up there, it's just pouring out little needles from five carats to 15 carats, and it is just jimmy blue. 
you know that that is a super clean three to five carat stone that's just laying there good color that's facet grade you got to really take it slow and just kind of collect everything or you'll miss it so once was a golf ball size pocket and now it's turning into more of a baseball size pocket and it's just opening up more and more We just want to capture everything, all this little bit of debris that's coming in here. It's very clean aqua, um, one to five carat stuff. Um, so we're gonna, we've made a little catch here. It's bleeding out of this pocket. Tracy's done a nice job of just kind of pushing up and letting the water do the work. And as the gems are washing out, we're gonna gather it up and we'll go up top and we'll clean it out here in a little bit. This is exciting. Why does the weather have to be bad? Uh -oh. See, oh, look. Oh, look at that one. Oh, it's uh, That's clean. Look at that. Uh, Whoa. Uh, beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Just started thundering, too. Oh, my gosh. Let's get this stuff raked up. Getting rained on. Hold on. Let me get one of those nice pocket formation here we've got three crystals about an inch and a half long look at that huh? all right baby yeah. back on the blue yeah. Woo you got a nice pocket structure that's bleeding aqua here look at that so i cannot believe how big this is the blue is just incredible oh Yeah. Oh. This is probably going to be one of the knockers of the mountain. What? No yeah. way. What? Oh. And I just thought I found it. Okay. Once again, we hit a small little pocket, and Jason's got to show us up over here and whatnot. <laughs> Very oh my God. high class specimen here. Holy. We got a, we got a, we got a couple Ooh. sprays here, brother. Ooh. We're talking thousands of dollars right there. <laughs> well, I think you're on the top of the spray and it's gonna dive down. That thing's what, two feet wide, Peg? Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. This, if we can extract this and get this, I mean, obviously we got a lot of ice and that spray is just phenomenal, world yes. class. Yes. I think this is gonna be one for the reconstructive side of the business, man. You've got an aqua spray with a feldspar perched on top of it from what I can see. Uh, crystals are starting to bleed out of there. That is just gorgeous. You mind if I get down there and get a oh, close-up, no. brother? Get That's it, gorgeous, man. man. This, is your, this is you, man. And I had uh, good old James right here who's a good digger. Okay, this one of the best finds I've ever uncovered anywhere on this mountain. That's beautiful. So this is really exciting here. This is probably one of the more intact uh, pockets that I've probably ever seen. And it's a spray. When I say spray, it's exactly that. It's kind of spraying up and the crystals kind of triangulate. It's really weird, they're, they're, they're small at the base and they get wider at the top, and the whole pocket's doing that. So we got lightning coming in. We probably got the potential of a half a million dollar pocket. If this opens up, I'm gonna turn everything over to Jason in uh, for extraction purposes. We're gonna track every piece. We're gonna bag every piece as we go through the layer. It may be reconstructable. If not, we got one hell of an aquamarine formation in here. So this is a great find. Way to go, guys. Right on, man. James, Good Ian. Job. Oh yeah. Well, uh, you know, we don't like to leave any kind of material up here, especially this kind of quality. We can't leave it here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna spend our time, you know, weather permitting. And uh, Ian got his rain gear on. I'm about to get my rain gear on. We've got thunder booming around us and we're gonna have to be really careful of lightning. We can't leave material like this on the mountain. So we're gonna go head to head with this storm and we're gonna extract this specimen as quickly and safely as possible. It's gonna come apart, but it's worthy of putting it back together. This will go back together really nice. The intent on this pocket right here is to uh, pull it out in whole, not by piece by piece. It's very, very important 
that we could get as much of this uh, aquamarine spray together as much as possible. We got a very big smoky right here. And also what this pocket's telling me is that, uh, shoot, we could have some more. You know, when you got big smokies like this, big pegs, you could get some quality stuff. Very exciting. I'm gonna water down the right side, water down the left side, and water down the back side. So I'm gonna take this piece. Wow, look at that. Wow. That tells me right here that we're right at the bottom of the, uh, the specimen here. So this is going to go back fairly well. Okay, yep, see how this one's already coming apart right here? So how you see this little striation on the side here? This crystal will come and it'll fit just like a puzzle. Back together, just like that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We got pinchoidal terminations on the top. We have uh, a nice flat termination below it. And some of these are fractured off, but I'm pretty sure that we still have, uh, we still have the aquamarine that attaches to the other part of the spray. <laughs> That's big. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is what we mine for, you know, to hit something like that. And uh seems like each year we've been getting closer and closer to that. Yes. That's... I think that all connects right there. It's all it? shooting up like this and our... it's like X marks the spot. Yeah, X marks the spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great so, job, yeah. James. Great job, Ian. Awesome. Great job, James. Thank you. <laughs> James is a low man on the totem pole. I think he's got to spend the night. Yeah, you know, yeah there he, he can is. Be, Let's uh, get it, boy. We got to document this from up above here. Oh, wow. Up here on the mountain, it's not always so beautiful because we have the monsoon seasons and the weather just pulls us out. Then we're off the mountain, so we just never know. We got some horrible weather coming in, and we just seen a lightning flash just right now. We better wrap, wrap it up right now, get in the trucks, and uh, wait it out for the moment. Yeah, yeah guys, lightning here. just struck that hillside right over there behind Jason. All right, time to so, here. Yeah, yeah, we need to we need to shut down. The Say it. it it's, it's going to be a tough year. Uh, we are hitting some good blue and stuff, but when you're battling these elements, there, there's just no use in trying to go up against it. So uh, we're going to get the guys off the hill, completely off, uh, shower, get some fresh clothes, get them fed, and uh, we're going to make today a wrap. So we're going to get everybody off. You can see it's starting to come down a little bit more. It's just a matter of time for the lightning comes in. So um, yeah, we're out of here, and uh, we'll call it a day. Mm -hmm.